Hey everybody and welcome back to Quest 64 slash Would You Rather. I'm trying to beat this game for the very first time, and every week we ask and answer two of life's most important questions. Molly asks, would you rather never pee again or never poop again? After the video, head over to the community tab to answer the question of the week. Viewer submitted questions begin on episode nine. Hello again, welcome back to Quest 64. We are ready to continue our quest by taking this boat. But before we do that, would you rather send an embarrassing email out to your entire company or eat a stick of butter? That's the quality of questions I'm getting on this app. Let's go ahead and get on this boat. Hello, boat wizard. Um. Woo, look at the angle of this bow. That is extreme. Where are we going? It's Morag. Welcome aboard. You're my first passenger in many a day. Come to think of it, the last traveler I met bore a striking resemblance to you. Much older, though. We're shoving off for Larapool. I see. So the last person he took on his boat was probably my dad. Uh, otherwise, why would he say that? Do you think my dad has this haircut also? Anyway, yeah, I made my way back to the inn. Are we there? Holy crap. What am I going to do? The wind has stopped, and now the lake is flowing in the wrong direction. If it stays like this, we can't make the crossing to Larapool. A fine kettle of fish. Uh, okay, that was the fastest boat ride I've ever seen in my life. We just walked into the, into the, what do you call it? The, uh, the room, the boat room. And then when we came out, we were there. So fast. Oh, we're in West Karma now. Um, okay, so he said he couldn't take the boat to Larapool, which doesn't look like it's that far away, uh, up to the north. And there's the Blue Cave, which uh, last time Kelly was talking about that. So we've heard of those two places. And then down to the south, Cull Hazard, Normoon, and the Windward Forest. All places I think I've been but I don't remember much about them. So let's go to Larapool first, and then we'll kind of see what people are saying. I haven't really gotten much direction lately. Uh, Marag did just say that the wind has stopped and the water's flowing the wrong way, so that seems important. Anything behind this house? Beautiful sunset, by the way. Nothing. The whole house is invisible from the inside. Hello. Efna, we haven't seen any ferry passengers for a long time now. If you'd like, laddie, spend the night here and rest yourself. No, I think I'm okay. Thanks, though. I I will be okay. So let's head north. And let's talk about this question. I'm seriously not finding <laughs> very many good ones. I'm going to have to get another source. Um, but yeah, I, I think the clear winner here is eat a stick of butter. Because, first of all, butter is delicious. Why wouldn't you want to eat an entire stick of butter? Um, but that's certainly better than the embarrassment, right, of everyone you work with. That could have serious career consequences. Whereas eating a stick of butter can be done in your private time. Oh, look at these guys, they're so cute. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, I, I don't know, do you, do you think being embarrassed by, with all your coworkers is worth not having to eat a bunch of butter, which you would probably be eating anyway? Don't lie about it. Anyway, last time we got Rolling Rock. And it just rolls on through. That's cool. From side to side. Orc Jr. These guys are so cute. Um, okay, water does pretty good damage. They just use rock stuff. I'm trying to see if I should use water or wind spells on them. I'm not sure. Or just hit him with the big stick. Always a good option. I'm using just Water Pillar 1 on these guys because I noticed on my way back to the boat that uh, there's no or negligible difference in damage between the two Water Pillars. 
So it might just be the size. Like doing Water Pillar 2 uses more MP and it's bigger so you can hit more more people at once. Uh, but for just one enemy, I, th I think we can just use level 1. It's not that much worse. Like if I do level 2... Yeah, like it did the same damage as the first one. So we might as well save the, the points. Okay. So on the lookout for spirits, I do remember this place a little bit. Ooh, look at that gremlin. Creepy. Um, I could try to hit him with rolling rock, but it didn't do a lot to these guys. I feel like they have to be earth type since they're using rock. Fireballs right in your face. So yeah, in my youth, sometimes I would beat Solvering, and sometimes I would make my way through the flats and get here. Um, but not, not every time. Sometimes I would just lose to Solvering a couple times and then get demoralized and just stop playing. <laughs> so we're already doing good uh, by that comparison. Is this something? Oh yeah, it's a ledge. Bunnies? Are you the same bunnies I fought before, or are you like super bunnies? Oh no, they're the same ones. <laughs> they're just regular wear hairs. Ugh. Look how powerful I am now, you stupid rabbits. That's kind of a cool shot of the boat. Um, so yeah, I'll, ha I'll have to test if Water Pillar 3 does any more damage, or maybe it's just even bigger than level 2. Which is fine. Ooh. These guys are new. Ghost Hounds. Got fireball level 2. Well, I've got water level 3. Oh, and it's very big. But yeah, it, d it does the same damage. So, it's just by size. Easier to hit these. Except for all the missing. You know how it is. Why can't you hit that guy? He's right there. I think missing is too prevalent in this game. Okay, I think that's Lair Pool up there. Let me check this map. Yeah, so we went up on that ledge. This is another ledge. And then we just go around the bottom, and that goes up to Lair Pool. So that's where we're headed. Ooh. I can one-shot Orc Jr.? That's great. Ugh. Oh. Of course I missed. I do like when you hit with the staff, the big thunk sound it makes. Ugh. It's like punching into a slab of meat. Goosh. I can't even rec replicate it with my mouth. But you know what I'm talking about. Hey, water 14. Still looking for that healing too, but it must be, must need to be higher. Ah, <laughs> I, t I, the, the battles are getting out of hand. There's just too many of them. 15, ice wall, we got ice wall. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we have a sign. It says, house to the right, tree to the left. Uh, which I think means Larapool is this way, and the other way is what? Uh, Windward Forest? But that's not where that goes. Is it? Oh yeah, maybe it is. It goes down to Windward Forest. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I don't know, man. It's easy to get lost in this game. Oh, come on. I was trying to hit both rabbits. <laughs> Why would you go and hit the orcs? Are you crazy? They're right there, you know? I can't believe that the fireballs dodged the wear hairs to go hit the other guys. Although, you know, maybe the smart strategy is to leave them alive because when they take their turn, it's very easy to dodge. 
I don't know. Like, they can do that all day, and then I get, like, an extra turn. It is hard to see in this game and to see where you're going. Okay, that, I think, is the long and winding path down to Cull Hazard. So let's follow the road this way. Get to Laripool. Bum, 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 bum. That theme is just so, so jaunty. Here we go. Laripool, look at the beautiful waterfalls, the fountain. Um... Okay, let's talk to people, because I don't know what to do. It's Leonidas. I haven't seen you around here before, on your way somewhere. I can't believe anyone would be so foolish when it's so dangerous to travel. Well... Did you know Laripool is called the Water Capital? Some people prefer Lemelin, but to me, Laripool will always be my home. I see. Hello, what do you have for sale? Blue wings. Oh yeah, we haven't had to use wings. I, or, I guess I could have used them, but I forget that I have them. Uh, but now we have a fast travel back to Laripool, so that's... I'll, t I'll try to remember to use it. Um, what else? I'm not sure where to go. There seem to be some houses over here. I'm coming in. My name's Brian. Oh look, a giant gnome. Gleon. I've heard the entrance to a cavern known as Blue Cave is located somewhere in this town. It leads to a mysterious, beautiful valley. If the protecting waters recede, the road leading to Crystal Valley will be opened. I see. Okay, so there is a... So the entrance to Blue Cave is somewhere in town. if I need to go there, which I don't know if I do. I suppose I will at some point. We're learning things. It's just so weird how in RPGs they, they let you go into these rooms that just, ha there's nobody in them. Like in this one, where you got some really weird looking people. But in that last one, it's like, why put a door there and then have a room with nothing, with nothing to do? Margaret. I'll practice as hard as I can. I want to be good enough to sing before the prince and queen. Our Margaret is learning to sing. I want her to be the finest singer in all of Keltland. Great. Very important to the plot of this game. Big box of peaches. I don't know. I don't know anything about game development. I'm sure it's hard. They're, they're trying to make it a... a a realistic world, you know, that people live in, but it's just kind of weird sometimes. Look at this boy. It's Russell. That man has a thick torso. My wife keeps pushing our daughter to become a singer. I'd like her to do whatever she wants. Oh, okay, he's more open-minded than uh, Camellia, so nothing wrong there. Um, let's see, let's get, here's the end. Let's get in here. Oh, this has a different layout. Is Shannon here? We got some other people here. Oh, there you are. You were hiding from me. Before we talk to her, let's get another question going. I'm sure that your mind is just eager for more difficult choices to make. Okay, here's a good one. Would you rather use eye drops that are made out of vinegar or use toilet paper that's made from sandpaper? Very interesting conundrum. What do you think, Shannon? The ferry boat is broken down, and I seem to be stuck here in this town. It seems that an evil force is casting a spell upon the water and the wind. They call this place the Water Capital. Across from the southern cavern is Normoon, City of Wind. One place or the other may hold your fortune. Interesting. So there's water and wind stuff going on right around the capitals of water and wind. Donovan, I had to run away from Grenick and leave everyone behind. I wonder what has happened. I don't know. Beats the heck out of me. Galita. My garden is rich with mint leaves. Oh, okay. She gives out mint leaves. And you, Mr. Alexander. Oh, it's a hotel. Yeah, let's save while we're here. There's water and wind troubles. But I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Whoa. Hello, nurse. 
Leela. The sorceress. My destiny is to protect Laripool, but somehow the wind has stopped blowing. The reason can be found near the city of Wind Normoon. When the wind stops, demons are free to spread throughout the land. I'm using all of my powers as water spirit to fight them off. Our world is balanced by four different spirits. If one of them should become stronger or weaker, we are doomed. You only... You're a sworn protector and you only have power to protect this region and I, a small boy of seven, must protect the rest? Okay. I don't know if that really helped me, but... You guys got a basement? I sure do. I don't even know what I'm looking for. How am I going to find it? A sub-basement? Oh, jeez. This is going to take forever. Why can I go in all these rooms? They're empty, and even when I sleep at the inn, I don't use any of the rooms. Ugh. Look, this guy's in here. It's Naltis. I traveled all over when I was young, and I heard all kinds of stories, but the scariest was the Day of Grief. All the provinces were fighting for possession of a magic book. <laughs> the old tale book, right? But the victorious province fell into ruin in only one day. The Day of Grief. A powerful magician restored the peace but his methods are long forgotten. Interesting. So, I mean, by that logic... Oh, I didn't want to go in here. Like, the wi the winner was the one with the Day of Grief, right? So if someone stole the book and they used it, wouldn't it just ruin their place? And everyone else would be fine? I mean, I'm, I'm just making an assumption. I suppose it's not right. Um, okay, so we can come out behind the inn... And is this a path? Is it like a drain the water and you can go down there? Type of thing? I don't know. How about this way? Also outside, by the waterfall. Uh, okay, this definitely looks like a path when the water drains. And a secret. Oh, this is, this brick thing must be like the middle of town with the fountain. But I can't open the door. Weird. Okay, okay. So, it could be something where, like, when we fix the water problem, that we can then take those paths. Right? Uh, and maybe one of them goes to the blue cave. Shannon's stuck here. Okay, so what... What's the plan? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody told me what to do. Oh, look down there. That sure looks interesting. Do you think that's the entrance to the blue cave? And we can walk there after the water goes down? That's my hunch. Well, nobody really told us what to do. They just said... That that woman said that Normoon was the wind place, right? So should I go to Normoon? Do I have to go through Coal Hazard? Or the Windward Forest? I don't know! It's not clear! Should we just pick one? I'm gonna go towards the Windward Forest, I think. Because if I remember Coal Hazard, and I don't know if I do, but I think it's like a, a very long and dangerous dungeon type place or at least it took me a while to get through it and so maybe I would like to try the forest first or at least see if there's somebody in that house down there that can tell me what to do more like dork junior anyway let's try ice wall oh okay so that's we, we just saw that one enemy try it doesn't really look like a wall. But I guess it hits everything around us, so... That could be useful. Okay, I think this is the right way to go. So let's get to this question. Vinegar eye drops or... <laughs> sandpaper toilet paper? I gotta lean towards the eye drops. Vinegar in your eye is not gonna feel good. But how often do you have to use eye drops? Like, I'm, I'm sure that some people use them more often, but... Like, I use them probably once every eight years or so. So I think getting a little vinegar in my eye 
uh, for that purpose, we'll be okay. Uh, the sandpaper you gotta use every day, and you're just gonna you're just gonna start like bleeding everywhere after a while. So that doesn't sound good. That's my thought on the matter. Okay, so that bridge, the cave back there is Call Hazard. So there's a house, and that's Cole Hazard, which you take the, the roundabout path to the west. There's supposed to be another building down this way. Okay, here we go. I just I just wanted to get here and see what's up. Oh, look. So look. This must be the sign for the forest with the gates closed. So maybe we can't go this way. So, I mean, that's good to know. That narrows down our options. So maybe Cole Hazard is where we need to go next. Is there a spirit behind the house? That's where I would put one. Uh, but they didn't. Okay, well, can somebody tell me what's going on? Hello, beefy man. Men, sorry. Jeff, you want to travel on, little one? Well, it's impossible. The bridge is down. No, it's not. We just walked across the bridge. And it'll take a while to fix. The only way for you to get to Normoon is to go by way of Cole Hazard Cave. Lloyd. Lloyd and Jeff. From this point on, we'll be entering the Windward Forest. What do you mean, we? Who are you talking to? Well, we hear that a suspicious magician has shown up. He has the power to control the wind and probably was the one who blew down the bridge. Okay, these guys, these guys are talking like the bridge got knocked down and they need to fix it. But uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed that this bridge is 100% intact, and you just closed a gate. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm not I'm not going to think about it too hard. Um, okay, so it sounds like there's some sort of wind sorcerer in Windward Forest. Sounds like somebody we needed to take down, right? But we can't get there because, and I'm doing air quotes, the bridge is down. So, I think what we're going to need to do is head to Call Hazard. And that should get us to Normoon, the Windy City. And I mean, we've been ever, everywhere else, so that's got to be it. So, next time, we will head, we'll take that, that path that goes around the west side to Call Hazard and see what it has in store for us. While you contemplate that journey, why don't you contemplate this? Would you rather be captured by pirates at sea? Or be captured by a wild tribe in the jungle tough tough choices i want 400 words on your answer and why uh do by next week and i will give you a grade so it better be good mm -hmm.